Hi, YouTube. Welcome back. We just finished Huracos. And uh, it's time to move on to Sunny Beach. After we kill a little more of the, of the wildlife. And collect one. But one gem. Oh, I feel so complete. Yeah, Sunny Beach. Um, Now, here's a level we're not going to be able to finish uh, for quite a while here. So, yeah. Hey, Giddy, stop it. Our cat likes to claw at our door frames. Get your butt on your cat tree. So, oh, there's our one total gem. So exciting. <laughs> Woo! Goodness. You notice his pupils are detached from his eyes. That's kind of... I'm going for a bad thousand point round to one where I'm not sure I don't know which continent it is. Uh oh. For those who don't know, uh, one of my viewers is playing GeoGuessr while uh, watching my stream, so that's what that's about. Okay, so this level here to Sunny Beach. Um, well, let's see what you have to say first. Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'll be mighty grateful. Well, over there, meaning on the opposite side of the level. As the minimap implies. Um, so, so what we have to do to advance the level. You can't just uh, step on the switches and let the turtles through. Yeah, they won't go. You have to um, hit the big turtle, and then they'll advance. So yeah. And yeah, I hope you like swimming. There's a lot of swimming. I'll come back to those d gems down there later. Here's for you. Oh. <laughs> so we got a little bit of a not so secret secret area here. Lots of gems. Those uh, water workers, as they're called, there. Make sure to flame them quickly. Otherwise, uh, it's difficult to dodge their attacks. Put a window up here. Hold on. Let me see if I can double jump up here. Yay! Yeah, we can see part of the. That's the end of the level way up there, but. Ah, and here's our fodder for this level. It's actually kind of funny. Look, they're all smiling, happy. Oh, we could, you, couldn't, you couldn't see it there. He's facing away. But once you flame them, they'll actually frown as they're... Let's see. Come on. I want to see you frown. Okay, I guess. I'll take my word for it. They do. There's this big box right here. Well, um, yeah, we'll have to come back to that. More fodder. I can't remember. Nope, there's no jumps here. Okay. The second part of the area here. Oh, watch out for these guys. Yeah. These guys get a flame twice. One to, oh, one to pop their. What are they called? They're float, floaty? I don't know. And the others are actually defeat them. So. Now where's the beach? We're, just, we're in a big cave here. Or... Canyon? I have no idea. Ay! 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 Laugh at me, you little bastard. There's another uh, crate. Oh, we have a strong chest there. There's something different we'll have to do with that uh, strong chest. For now. But, uh, yeah. Between the Americas and Spain, mostly. I don't have to Spanish speaking, I think. Not always good at Spanish. Oh, what Portuguese. Oh, whoops. I flamed those turtles thinking that they were fodder at the corner of my eye. Again, to open the door. I have the big turtle step on the switch. And yeah, this is why we won't be able to complete the level for now. Um, well, actually, part of the reason. I can show you a way to cheese that with a double jump. Hit yeah, this guy, you gotta flame twice. Don't forget this gem in the corner here. I 
here's our power up gate. We need 11 enemies. Oh, I didn't tell you the stats of the level. I forgot. There are 400 gems, 17 enemies, and 3 orbs. So yeah, there goes the baby turtles. They're gonna go on. I, now, I love the detail they put into this game. Um, you can see the pyramid, pyramids uh, have different designs in each level. I love it. Ah, what do you have to say? The water workers have boxed up most of our baby turtles. The boxes oh. are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame breath, maybe you could break them open and release the turtles. Yeah. So it tells you right there, we got a, um, it's a super flame. Which is really powerful. Um, so yeah. So we have nine enemies so far. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back here later. Get rid of you. Why you little? Okay. Now there is a way to cheese this uh, uh, ladder right here. What you do from here, double jump and hover. And that's how you uh, get up here. I don't mind cheesing this. It's just for a couple gems. That's okay. Um, so get back there. I think you can do the same thing. Double jump. Yeah. Guess it. <laughs> and there's 11, 12, and 13. Good. And yeah, there's a super flame power up. Stuff going on here, okay? More than anything else, nothing specific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the way I like to do this. Run, 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 run. Go through the gate. Just run as fast as you can. Bypass everything else. We're going to start from the furthest point back and work our way closer. If that makes sense. So, yeah, you can use a super flame underwater. Yeah, super flame does not last long. So, you know what? I'm just going to go back to the gate. Telephone poles everywhere. <laughs> Might be America then. Because for some reason, we do love our telephone poles. Okay, there's another one. And this is how you open the strong chest here, is with the, with the power up. So, you, know. you can kind of see him frown there. Alright, uh, okay, we're good. Lots of back and forth for this challenge. Get this one. Make you frown. I mean, that's a pro pro. You use exactly that style. Like me? <laughs> I'm no pro, but I can definitely tell where I'm at based by telephone poles alone. Anyway, um, this switch will reveal another uh, box. Let's see. Then we got this one up here. And I'm just going to rush to the end. I said rush to the end. Because the last box is right here. There we are. Impressive. Most impressive. Please take this sacred, uh, thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. <laughs> Where are they all getting these orbs from? Is this some kind of like... You know, I don't even know what to compare it to. Or the speed limit signs that say speed limit, so probably Oregon. Really? Oregon doesn't say speed limit? Or it just says like speed something? Yeah, some places do that. They alter the wording of the signs. Anyway, here's the final area of Sunny Beach. We kind of skim through it. That is the actual reason why I have to come back later. Yeah. There's a chef at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our baby turtles. If you know how to oh, climb, no. you could get up there and stop him. Yeah. Yeah, uh, our uh, young is at risk, but take your time. You gotta go learn how to climb. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So after, um, really after, um, opening the power-up gates, or activating them, 
Mexico. Ah, okay. Um, there's really no need to uh, defeat all the enemies. I mean, you don't even get rewarded for defeating them all. Not even completion for sake. Okay, thing. They just say speed. Fancy signs must cost by the letter. I've heard that actually, and it and, and it depends on uh, uh, the size of it too. It's also why a lot of signs are going lowercase now. So yeah, uh, flame the turtle all the way up here. And that's how we get to the end of the level here. Unfortunately, there's not much else we can do to get up that ladder, so... Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Yay, another talisman! All right. So yeah, let's take a look at the guidebook here. So we got Hero on the Gear of Power. Ooh, nice. And we also got the Turtle Medallion. Um, so yeah, we won't be able to. I, I sound like a broken record now. We'll have to come back later. So wow, that was only 11 minutes. Hmm. <laughs> I love how the uh, residents are actually getting revenge on the troublemakers, so to speak. So. Alright! Now, since this recording so far is really short, um, I'm going to take on. Well, a flight level. Yes, flight levels return. But they're a little different now. So let's go into the left side of the uh, area here. Ah, and here we have something different. Portals are actually deactivated here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we have to meet a certain objective in order to um, activate the portals. So let's talk to Alora here. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speedway, but ah. if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun. All right. So yes, instead of flight, they're actually called speedways now. Um, same basic idea, um, but there's a little more to it than that now. So yeah, let's go. Unnecessarily word. Yeah. I they're not very simple. Okay, so we have the same course, just like in, uh, pretty much same mechanics as in Spyro 1, but different design here. So rings first, then the arches, and if you're quick enough, you can simultaneously flame those carts there. After the arches here. And then we have these boats here. It's like a storm at the distance there. So just like the planes of Spyro 1, flame these guys head on, learn the pattern, and just flame them head on. Woo! And there we are. Well, it's very simple. Now with the cards here, what's new here, I mean you can do it in Spyro 1 too, but you can do a supercharge whenever you, um, ah! Whenever you, uh, charge on a flat surface. And there we are! <laughs> that last bit was kind of nerve-wracking, but relatively easy all the same. The US has a novel explaining how the road ahead may be curvy while the trying while we have a triangle with a curve on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, some signs can... Uh, it varies by state on the requirements on what the sign says, but yeah. Some states are uh, more simple than others, so... We're actually going to retry now. Instead of doing the course again, well, let's... Uh, 
we have this audience here. You see uh, this fish lady here in the middle. New to the speedways, other than the name change, is that we actually have an orb challenge in each of them. I guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. Yeah, in order to um, do the uh, orb challenge though, you have to complete the course once. So, yeah, let's start this uh, race. All right, Spyro, meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware if Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. Yeah, you'll have only a limited amount of time to get through the ring. However, it's not really a race. It's more or less follow the leader type thing. So all you have to do is just keep up with Hunter. You will never actually get ahead of him. So, just gotta pay attention to... We got a sharp turn here. And try... Sometimes a little generous with the rings. Um, like you can hit like the edge of it and it'll count. Sometimes they're not. So, so this one we have a turn here. And you can flame the cards if they get in your way. If it makes it any easier. Okay, follow Hunter. The trick here, keep Hunter on the screen at all times. That will really help you. Okay, and we're pretty much... We're pretty much done now. The worst of it's over. <laughs> and there we are! Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. And there's the orb. Level complete. So, yeah, we're done with this level, so let's quit to leave. And that's it. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more of Summer Forest, and then I will cut the episode. All right. So these doors here, you can see they alternate. You hear that ding, ding, ding. That means there's an orb nearby. But we can't get to do the orb by normal means here. What we have to do, flip the doors around, go around here, and glide around that door. See? And that's how we get to the orb. There we are. All right. This big gargantuan wall here. Well, let's uh, get, let's just grab the gems, please. There we are. Um, let's see. Ooh, what's this? We got another door. Hold on, my nose itches. There we are. Let's talk to Alora and see what this door is all about. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Oh. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Yeah, so this is why we need those talismans to advance. Um, so, yeah, but there's... Uh, yeah, there's one more level we haven't found just yet, and it's actually behind this wall right here. Unfortunately, Moneybags is guarding it, so... Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. Not really. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Well, it's not like we're short iron gems now, but fine. Hmm. Yes, the sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Sure. Ah. If, actually, I forgot to refuse him to get that dialogue, but if you um, decline him, he'll tease you and say, Oh, it could be the portal back to Dragon Shores, but, well... Okay, okay, okay. So it's not the portal to Dragon Shores. Aquaria Towers is still a lovely place. Why, I have a home there myself. Yeah. 
that's where you get the dialogue. So there's the final portal of um, Summer Forest. Get back here, you. Thank you. In the final gems for now. Until we learn how to climb later. So we're at 20 minutes. Let's see. Now there should only be 10 more gems left. Okay, good. Um, so next time, YouTube, uh, we'll be completing the Aquaria Towers. The final level of Summer Forest. So YouTube, I'm going to cut the episode here. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and follow me on Twitch. I am live Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Eastern U.S. time, and I hope to see you there. See ya.